All right, folks, we need to talk. It's 2.40 a.m. here, and this is very unlike my usual video. It will be totally unstructured. As I finished reading all the comments on the recent videos, there was a part of me that was deliberating whether I want to make this video or not. But I decided I feel so strongly about the topic, I want to talk about it anyway. If you folks don't know already, the past week has been a very dramatic one for the Final Fantasy XIV community. There's two lodestone posts where Yoshi P and team decided to explain why are they nerfing a certain boss in P8S, the first nerf they have ever done to a boss ever since Heaven's Ward, and another lodestone post talking about illegal way markers in P7S, and how they have decided to ban the first person who created those illegal way marks. I covered all the topics, and I read every single comment related to them. And reading through the comments, it was very clear to me there's still a very good handful of people in the comment section who felt that I let Yoshi P and team go too easy. That I was not being tough on them. That I'm letting them get away with their mistakes. Which honestly is a very puzzling sentiment. And in this video, I wanted to clarify my stunts. There's a lot going through my head, but I'll try and structure it properly. I'll be drawing on some illustrative comments here. I'll censor all the names. But the first thing to address in this video, just because I didn't slam my fist on the table, and just because I didn't decide to swear at Yoshi P and team saying that they should have done a way better job in terms of job balancing, that does not mean that I think that Yoshi P and team should not be accountable for proper job tuning in the future. If you watched the previous video, you would know that I literally expressed that I think Yoshi P and team made a mistake and they could do better. The point of the video was to say everything that we say everything that we express in terms of our complaints has to be taken in terms of context in the grander scheme of things and not simply in isolation to that one event of job tuning changes for this tier. I brought up the example of some people in the community freaking out because of the 1% boss health nerf when over in World of Warcraft, if you look at Sepulchre of the first ones, there has been numerous amounts of nerfs, nerfs after nerfs on different days for different bosses as you can see on the screen. I brought up that point just to tell you, before you heave toxic comments and personal attacks at the development team, think twice. Because that in World of Warcraft, what you guys are seeing is a result of players and developers having such a strained relationship, the developers don't give a shit anymore. They have lost love for their game, and that is why they do things like telling you what is fun instead of taking your feedback. A very good example, a lot of people are complaining about machinists and raid mages and all these jobs needing tuning changes. And by the way, I agree with you. If you watch my patch note video, I literally said I am really surprised that the only changes were tank buffs to Warrior and to the Paladin. I was very surprised there's no mention of Machinists, no tuning for DPS and healers as well. So I'm on your side. Before I address that, I just like to wrap up my comment about how when you get to a point where the developers start getting all these toxic comments and all these personal attacks, which by the way is a topic that Yoshi P brought up previously and I covered this on this channel, he did say, leading up to Endwalker, he pleaded with the community to please, you can give feedback all you want, make it constructive feedback. Don't attack the developers personally. He basically said they have feelings too, and hopefully the community is respectful of them. Just to wrap up on that point, this is what happens when a developer gives up on its fan base, when there's distance and when they're jaded. For all the job mains out there who feel like you're wrong by Square Enix and Final Fantasy XIV, I can totally see why you're frustrated. But let me give you a peek into reality, a reality where we continue to be toxic towards the developers. The World of Warcraft community wants us as lead developer, Eon Hazikostas. This particular warlock spec in the game, demonology spec is broken. What are you gonna do about it? To which Eon Hazikostas jokingly said on stream, and I will link it in the comment below if you want to check it out. He said that, well, players shouldn't play it. That is what happens when the developers and the community does not have a good relationship, where you have all these tensions simmering under the surface and people making snide remarks about one another. That is what happens. And why am I choosing to speak out in this video? Because I lost my home in Azeroth. I loved World of Warcraft dearly. It was a huge part of my life. And it took me quite a bit of effort to find a new home that I absolutely adore, and that's Eorzea. And if this video can reach at least a few people so that they will not go onto forums and they will not go on their social media handles and start posting toxic things and personal attacks on Yoshi P and T, then this video is worth it. Because at least I have done my part in trying to ensure that Eorzea might continue to be a happy place for me to have a belonging in the years to come. 
because I know the sensation of losing my home and it's absolutely devastating and heartbreaking. In those prior videos, if you go back and watch them, I have literally said that I think Yoshi P and team made a mistake. There is no doubt they made a mistake. Even Yoshi P himself, he apologized because he knows he made a mistake. That's why you apologize, right? Because you know you did something wrong. I mean, we learned that as a kid, right? He knows it. I know it. I say it, but it seems like people selectively listen to what they want in my videos. Just because I didn't spend 90% of the video raging, saying that, oh, fuck that shit, they should have buffed those jobs, they shouldn't have nerfed the boss, god damn it, Yoshi P and team dropped the ball again, just because I didn't spend 95% of the video talking about that, doesn't mean I'm not holding Yoshi P and team accountable, I want to be absolutely clear here. But for the people who said I missed the point, because I didn't harp on this thing, it feels like you guys wanted me to bang my table and rage so hard and make it known to the world that Yoshi P and team messed up. And yes, they did mess up and I said that in those videos. But the point of the last video that I made is we need to always maintain a perspective. What is the bigger picture here? Overall for Final Fantasy XIV over the years, are you folks having a good time? I think the answer in most of your heart is yes. Yoshi P and team are humans too. They make mistakes and they admitted it's a mistake. And we have every right just because we pay a sub to basically say, hey, I think there's something wrong here, you need to look at it. But we need to do it in a constructive manner instead of going ballistics, typing in all caps, calling people names, calling people incompetent, saying that they're lying and whatnot. Because again, I came from a world where the developers and players no longer have a healthy relationship. And that spiraled out of control. And yes, there are other problems with World of Warcraft, but the lack of communications and trust between the developers and the players is a very, very big problem that resulted in the state of the game today. I just like to tell you, the reason why I don't rage at them it's not because I don't think they didn't make a mistake. I do think they made a mistake with job tuning changes. The reason why I don't rage at Yoshi P and team, and instead I just wanted to cover the news factually and to give my perspective in terms of how we should give feedback, it simply boils down to this. It's not constructive for me to rage at them. I already spelled out in the earlier videos, I think they need to do a better job in job tuning. I also said previously in the patch notes video, I wish the machinists all have their day in the sun. I 100% agree with those things and I've already expressed my views. What is the point of yelling at the top of my lungs into the camera and into the microphone when it's clearly not a constructive way to give feedback? To the people who said I missed the point, that I was focused on the wrong things in the video, that I should have focused in those videos on questioning why Yoshi P and team didn't focus on job tuning or buffing those jobs instead of choosing to basically nerf the boss. It is clear despite what I said in the video, there was selective hearing because I said that I think they made a mistake with job tuning changes. They could do better. But from the very expectation of wishing that I as a content creator go after Yoshi P with an agenda, make an even bigger fuss about job tuning changes that I've already said I think they made a mistake, but to take it one step further and to yell at the top of my lungs, what is the point? If I'm all about maximizing views from this YouTube channel, that is 100% the play because there's nothing that drives view better than simply raging at the camera and simply yelling at the top of my lungs about why I think they absolutely fucked it up. I can definitely do that if I didn't give two shits about the game and I'm just simply here to make a quick buck. But it's not constructive. And that was the point of my previous video. To keep in mind before you type those toxic comments, keep in mind what you have in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm trying to make a point that you folks actually have it really nice over here. As a WoW refugee, do I think Final Fantasy XIV is perfect? No, it's not a perfect game. There are definitely things it can be better at. But do I think overall it's a good experience? Hell yes, versus where I came from. As per all my videos, I will be upfront when I think that Yoshi P and team could do better. And I've done this in so many videos already. I've done videos on what I think they should improve on, as you guys can see from the screen here. And also, if you go and rewatch the videos, the last three videos on this whole fiasco around the raid drama, go listen to them again, and you will see that I did say that I wish that Yoshi P and team could do better in certain aspects. And look folks, I will always continue to do so in a constructive manner. And if you'd like to see another content creator rage at the camera, rage at the microphone about how shitty Final Fantasy XIV is, is, how bad job tuning changes is, how you folks are being robbed of your subscription, you guys are paying your subscription every month, but Yoshi P keeps on ignoring machinists, then this is probably not the channel you need to watch. You need to watch other channels because I can't bring myself to rage at them because selfishly, I know that that might potentially jeopardize the happy home I have in Final Fantasy XIV. 
it doesn't work towards solving the problem. It only works against me. All I can do in the videos is simply say, well, I think there's a problem here. This could be done better. Full stop. That's it. You know, smashing my keyboard, throwing my mouse around, going to my goldfish and rant at it and record it as a YouTube video is not the play. It does not do anyone credit. Although, it would help me in terms of viewership, but I choose not to do so. And just so we're on the same page, I think the majority of you here watching this very video, you probably get me 100%. You understand where I'm coming from. I'm trying to reach out to the people who expected me to do a Dragon Ball Z and simply yell at Yoshi P and team for their incompetencies. I'm speaking to those people because I feel it's those people in the community that needs to evaluate how they want to pass on constructive feedback to Yoshi P and team. Egging streamers on or content creators on to rage hard at Yoshi P and team is not constructive. Anyone can make a forum post. Anyone can make a civilized Reddit post. Why not do that? I choose to state in my videos I think they could do better in certain aspects. That's my way of contributing to feedback. Banging the table and yelling at them for their incompetencies doesn't do that. It was really hard for me to find a new home in Eorzea. Really hard. I thought I couldn't find a home like that and I decided to quit World of Warcraft. But I found it. And if it means I have to do a video, on no particular topic just to reach out to maybe those few people who could potentially be sending those toxic messages to the developers, I'm gonna do it. Because I'm defending my memories of Eorzea, a place that I hate to lose, if we simply let this toxicity in the community get unchecked. And if I'm able to get through to just a few of those people, then this video was worthwhile. I continue to choose to believe in the good of the Final Fantasy XIV community. Before I came over to XIV, everyone have always said that XIV is the most wholesome community. And until this very day, despite all the comments I've read in the past week, I continue to believe so because, like I said, every community, regardless of which internet game you play, there will always be toxic people. And those are usually the vocal minorities. Which is why my faith in the XIV community is not wavering, but this video is simply to try and reach out to those vocal minorities to say, I've seen enough and I think you should really stop before you send out the next tweet longer or the next tweet or the next forum post or the next Reddit post yelling about how people are incompetent at Square Enix and Yoshi P's team in terms of job tuning changes and how this is the worst game ever. Again, to summarize, I don't think Yoshi P and team are perfect, I think they definitely made mistakes when it comes to this rate here in terms of job tuning changes, in terms of the boss tuning, in terms of how P7S Arena, if it's going to be a changing arena, they should account for the fact that way markers are to be placed in you know different parts of the arena. I definitely think they could have done better, but doing videos where I rage hard at Yoshi P and team is simply not the solution. And that's all I have to say, and I hope this is the last bit on this very topic, but I do so because I honestly care about this community and let's make it better together, folks. With that said, if you like my coverage of 14 on this channel, do subscribe to the channel. That will mean the world to me. I stream on Twitch on a weekly basis. Feel free to swing by to say hello. Last but not least, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Thanks for keeping the channels alive. Have a great day, folks. Let's make Eorzea a better place, and I'll see you soon.